Are you looking for an easy to install 3D printer upgrade that'll help you improve print quality and it'll help take care of that headache of all your bed leveling issues? Well, I've got it for you in today's video, so come check it out. All right, what's up everyone? Back at it again. It is DW Darkwing Dad bringing you another fun 3D printing tutorial. Uh, today I'm not gonna be making anything, but I am gonna help you guys make stuff easier with this upgrade video. So today we're talking about bed springs. Yes, those factory bed springs that come on pretty much every 3D printer and what you can expect from it. So the reality is these springs that come on pretty much all of the 3D printers, a lot of people use Creality machines, but really whatever printer you're using, these things are, they're kind of junk, you know? Um, I mean, if any of you've been around in 3D printing for a while, you realize, how often you have to re-level your bed, how your bed can shift mid-print, especially if you're doing long prints, and that really can affect the overall quality of your print. The reason why these things are junk is, well, they're, they're, they're cheap metal, and the thing is, especially if you're running something like PETG or ABS, where you have a really, really hot build plate, as metal gets hot, it gets weak. It is not as strong as it is when it's cool, so when it heats up, uh, it makes it less dense and your bed can unlevel. Uh, that can happen mid-print, that can get you through the print, but you can have uneven lines, imperfection, things like that in your print. So that's really why these things, you just need to throw them away. You need to get rid of them. What should you use? Silicone bed mounts. These little guys right here, these orange guys, they also come in black, but uh, these are absolutely great because like I said, they're obviously made of a different material. They're extremely stiff. I'll show you in the video here. Very, very easy upgrade uh, to do to really any printer. Um, it does take a couple tries to get the bed exactly level, uh, but when you do, it will just take so much stress off your shoulders. You won't really have to worry about leveling your bed as much. I think I may have to level my bed two, maybe three times a year tops. That's just if I'm really running the printers hard. So these things are absolutely great and you kind of have to think of it the same way as your, your, your struts on a car, okay? You want your struts on your car to, you want them to have a little bit of a give, but not too much. And when your struts and your shocks on your car go out, what happens? They just, your car's bouncing all over the place. It's not a very smooth ride, but when you have new shocks and new struts, on your car it's a nice smooth ride there's a little bit of give but not too much that's what silicone bed mounts are going to give you so that's probably the best analogy i can give you these things just really aren't good um they're okay for beginners um for smaller beds they may not adjust and may not on level quite as much but especially for big build plates uh where you have you know a larger build plate there's more weight on it uh long prints things like that these things are just going to wear out you're going to have to be leveling your bed a couple times a week with these only a couple times a year. So what I'm gonna do is actually show you how I installed these on my Ender 5 Plus. Uninstalling the springs, installing the bed mounts, uh, leveling the bed, going through the whole feature. So without any further ado, here's me giving you some tips and tricks and guidance on how to install these on an Ender 5 Plus. There's also some additional tips and information for you on there about printing and running that bed level test. So the first thing you want to do is just drop your build plate to an adequate height and one by one with the help of a screwdriver, remove the factory screws that are holding the factory springs and the tightener knobs in place. So once you have all those off, just gently put your build plate off to the side, hold it in place, remove the factory springs, and then one by one place the silicone bed mounts in place. Then all there is to do is just reverse what you just did. So one by one, just gently put those screws uh, in place through the silicone bed mounts and just get the knobs tightened on there just to kind of hold the build plate in place. And then once you have all that done, you can raise the build plate up and then just get to tightening those a little bit more. Just kind of go through and just tighten those up. You can use the tip of your finger to hold this, the uh, screw in place and just get the uh, adjuster knobs just so that they're snug. You obviously have to go through and level the bed and everything and that's what we're doing here. So fire up your machine and whenever you're leveling your bed, you always want to preheat the bed. Uh, put your glass bed in place here, whichever end that you use, whether it be the glass side or the texture side. Get your clips in place so obviously the glass bed doesn't slide around and then you're going to begin the bed leveling process. So here you can see we have the bed mounts installed and just comparing the old factory springs to the new mounts, I mean, look how squishy and look how easy those bend. The silicone mounts, they're nice and stiff. Your bed's not gonna adjust. It's not gonna come loose or anything like that. So now that we've got all these silicone bed mounts inside, let's go ahead and get this bed nice and level. 
So then you just wanna grab a piece of paper and you wanna set your Z offset and begin the bed leveling process. So we basically home it to the center and we want there just to be a little bit of scratching on the paper, a little bit of bite, a little bit of pull. You can see there that's a little bit too loose. So you can use the Z plus and the Z minus to raise or lower the bed. Once you have it to a place where there's just a little bit of snag on the paper, you wanna tap the Z home button. That's going to set that offset where you put it at. And then we're gonna to go to aux leveling and we're gonna use the five points here to help level the bed. So then repeat that process at all five points on the printer. When you have each five of those points uh, sufficiently leveled and you have a good amount of pull from the paper and the bed is level, you wanna go ahead and just select the measuring option. What this is going to do is it is going to go through and the BL Touch is going to probe the bed at all 16 points. It's gonna measure these and make sure that your bed is adequately leveled. If anything's off, you can go ahead and tighten and adjust as need be. So once you have that all squared away, you can go ahead and do your bed leveling print test. So your machine should be warmed up, load your filament, hit go, and the printer will print a pattern on the entire build plate that will basically show imperfections or impurities in your bed leveling. So uh, it will print this pattern, the one that I like, I will leave a link in the description. But overall, once the printer kind of runs its course and does its thing, it will leave you with these patterns. And this is overall what a good bed level should look like. Uh, however, they're all not going to be perfect. So that's the point of this uh, print test here. So you can see here that's a little bit close. Uh, that does need some adjustments, some tweaks. And you will need to run this test uh, realistically two to three times. Um, there's a very small amount of playroom with these silicone bed mounts. So some may turn out great like this. Other ones may be a little bit closer. So that's a rule of thumb. You are going to run this test a couple times. Overall, this is close to what you wanna be looking at. You can still see that there's a couple adjustments I need to make, uh, but the great thing is you run this test a couple times, get everything dialed in. You will not have to worry about leveling your bed nearly as many times. Uh, usually a couple times a year, I have to re-level my bed with the silicone bed mounts, so I definitely recommend doing this upgrade. All right, guys, well, that's it. Uh, that is it for the silicone bed mount install. You can see it's a very straightforward uh, install. It is a little bit different depending on printer to printer. The Ender 5 Plus uh, obviously is a beast all its own. I know personally, I just recently installed these silicone bed mounts. I was running these springs and I was literally having to uh, level my bed a couple times a week and I just got sick of it. But these things are lifesavers, guys. Like I said, understand they are giving you uh, a stiffer platform, which is really what you want in your 3D print. You don't want shifts and you don't want you know alterations in your build plate you want that completely flat nice and stiff firm build plate it does take a couple times like i said you pretty much will have to do the bed leveling process with that bed level print test two to three times but once you get it fine-tuned you are in the clear and i know some people who since they've installed these have never re-leveled your bed i definitely recommend these guys go out and get you some I will leave the link in the description and you will have much smoother, much cleaner prints in the end. Less frustration, install those silicone bed mounts and enjoy the ride. If you guys like this video and found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you are a subscriber to the channel, thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber to the channel and you enjoy all things 3D printing, cosplay, collectibles, Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, all that fun stuff you see on the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Got a lot more builds, got a lot more fun videos on deck for 2022. So make sure you click that subscribe button, come along for the ride. That's pretty much it guys, that's it for the video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment. Like I said, uh, these silicone bed mounts are pretty much universal for every 3D printer. And despite what other people may have said or you may have heard, you do not need a BL Touch to install these. One of my older videos I showed, uh, it's very poorly edited, <laughs> installing them on a CR-10S. So you can install these without a BL Touch. Do not be afraid if you don't have a BL Touch, these will still work great. That's it guys, drop me a comment, give me a thumbs up, let me know what you think, and until next time, DW out, later.